Welcome to the after show. We are talking about Shockwave Surf. I actually really love this one. I've I seen know. it in so many different movies. This one. was one yeah. of my favorite episodes we've worked on in a while. Okay, so the first question. Carrie, I think of you as beautiful, slim, agile, and quite brilliant. Wait, so wait, far, this is, is a great question. question. Did you write this are you question? Sure? So it came as a surprise to see quite how little coordination you have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't write this question. Has this always been the case? Uh, Sadly, yeah. yes. What? I can't. What You're sports a, did you play in yeah, high school? Yeah, were you a track, uh, track and field? What sports did you play? I didn't just play sports. Volleyball, what, what were you basketball, I, I, chess club, I, You know maybe? what? I just I wasn't out very club? good at sports. Okay, let's just leave it there. Were you Next on, like, question. Were you on like, the cheerleading team? <sighs> I was, was a, a flag girl and was... Wait, flag or shield holder? Well, let's just say during a football game, I was the only injury because a flag hit me. Uh, so you were the only injury I, on the, the flag the whole, squad. No, no, the whole game, sorry, the only injury it. was me because I got hit in the head with a flag that I threw in the air. Let's just say I'm not the most coordinated person in the world, and sad. it's okay. It's sad. I'm not alone. Okay, next question, hopefully less humiliating. This is an Olympic year, so what event would each of you compete in if you had to? Clearly, from the last question, none of them. Mm, that's a good question. <laughs> what would you do? What would, yeah, what would you do? Um, synchronized swimming. Yes, you we, are. Oh, well, very, we've done synchronized swimming, very you know, but we're not, sure. we're not Olympic quality yet. Maybe so, what would, what would it be for more, you? Don't hate, don't um, hate, participate. I, bobsled. Uh, luge. I would do luge. That's pretty fun. Mm. Actually, I will tell you. I did do a sport in high school. I, <laughs> Let's I was, hear this one. <laughs> I can't wait to hear this one. I was a fencer. You made, you like okay. fencing? No. Wait, the cyclone fencer? The foil. The, uh, I actually oh, did fencing, nice. and I was quite graceful at it. That's what my were, dad told I me. I thought you were there with the maintenance guy putting up cyclone You know what? We're going to go on to the next hey, question, because this is just not going well for me. On guard. Hey, there's a on hole. Guard. Can you remind me again why you went to all the trouble measuring your jumps only to throw them out and just go with a super long jump? We didn't know we were going to suck that badly. And we were looking. <laughs> Wait, we didn't suck that badly. Oh, come on. No, we didn't suck that badly. We sucked. You are kidding yourself. All right. <laughs> so we didn't have the hang time we needed to actually coordinate any sort of decent jump. And it, there was just, so, logistically, yeah. it was just so difficult. We needed something a little Experiment-wise, we actually needed a little bit more time in the air. So, uh, so basically, if we were running from an explosion, we would have no chance. Yeah. Oh, Pretty sorry. much. And let's face it, they said that they thought I was slim, beautiful, agile, and quite brilliant, and they were surprised that I was uncoordinated. They just, they weren't surprised that you weren't coordinated. Next question, I love the nitrogen can and jump system. Did you guys hit on that right away, or were there other ideas out there too? No, we had some other ideas. We were talking about maybe using a uh, bungee cord to actually pull Buster forward we and then set up the explosion. Uh, yeah. kind of system. There was, there was definitely so other things we, we out there. We had some ideas before we settled on the uh, nitrogen can. The, like the, we sit in a meeting and we go through a million ideas because, you know, face it, there's a million ways to skin a cat or something like that. Yeah, but I think the thing <laughs> was that the reset time on the cannon was the most minimal compared to like having to, if you were doing a swing set, because we knew that there would be an explosion happening after each experiment. So setting up a giant swing set or, or a bungee system each time would have been uh, yeah. cumbersome. How did you decide how much explosives to use, given that you weren't testing a specific scene, but a Hollywood uh, scene in general? Uh, it needed to be survivable, first of all. Yeah, and we just kind of ramped it up slowly. I mean, we started off with 10 pounds, and double doubled it. that, and then doubled that, and then up, we, we finally settled on 100 pounds, which is a huge explosion. Uh, which you would survive, uh, so, so that was kind of how we figured that. Yeah, I mean, when you see the shockwave go through, that's, that's a pretty big blast. Okay, next question. I know that you were looking for a significant shockwave push of, say, four or five feet, but was your rig accurate enough to see if there was a push at one or two inches? Well, the Not high speed showed it all. I mean, I mean, you could see in the high speed, clear as day, where the shockwave came moving uh, past the uh, buster, and he didn't move at all. I mean, it, it, I, I feel like it was 
dead accurate. Yeah. Well, I mean, they, it, the machine didn't actually have to be accurate enough to show an inch or two because that's not interesting for the myth. I mean, we, we wanted to see a push like you see in the movies. They, if you saw an inch or two, wouldn't be very Hollywood. Yeah, I think really the high speed, like you're saying, is what tells the whole story. And when you see it pass, and nothing, the, the trajectory of the simulate doesn't change at all, I mean, that's it right there. Didn't even knock sunglasses off. All right, next question. What was the kite made out of? Uh, you know, the wing was made out of, it, the wing was basically just a steel frame covered with uh, a blanket, and then we sprayed it with truck bed liner. So that it was pretty simple. Pretty indestructible. Yeah. yeah. Last question. Why don't you ring Hollywood execs and ask them to call you before they do their explosions? They're always so fake, and you guys have shown that real explosions are still just as awesome. Well, Hollywood executives don't generally give me their phone numbers. Yeah. We would. We totally would. Absolutely. That's it for the after show. Thanks. Keep sending in questions. Look at that. She couldn't even throw the card <laughs> off the table. <laughs> generally oh. ones that aren't Good. mean. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Sorry, dude.